hello guys um so today i'm going to show you how to run a case management system so um before we do that make sure you have zam installed on your pc and uh, make sure you make sure you've started the apache and uh, mysql so you just click on start on these uh, two buttons and uh, you have this so once you've done that so let's go ahead and uh, on our address bar we are just going to put the folder name okay so where we have it so i'm just going to show you these are the um files the php files of the case map um case management system uh, make sure you um put or paste the folder in your zam and the uh, hd docs all right so once you do that and then you can run it from the address bar so i'm just going to click on enter or hit enter for my keyboard to load it okay so guys i didn't sign out so i'm just going to sign out real quick okay so let me load it once more so that you can see how it works just going to do this right there all right so i'm going to take this out and uh, i'm going to enter my email and uh, the passwords the password is uh, admin123 all right admin123 is a password so i'm just going to click on login while we wait for it to log in guys so if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel and you're watching this please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell all right so that once we upload um, videos like this you can quickly get one all right so if you like the video you can as well click on the like button thank you very much as you do that okay so this is our dashboard all right as you can see we have all our navigation menus okay on the left side bar we have the dashboard we have the client which i'm going to click on it real quick okay so i have already entered one client so we have our case okay menu so i have already entered at least one case right there so we're going to click on task you can as well assign the task to someone okay the task name the related to the start date the deadline the members and all of that all right so appointments okay so you can create an appointment okay and create an appointment just the way you see it right there so let's go back you can go to team members you can create a team member okay so you can create a team member right there so all right so let's just go back from to client let me let's begin to enter this views this record and see how it looks like okay so for client i'm going to click on add client so what we are currently um, doing is a demo all right so we are going to use demo data okay so if you get the software you know what to do you can enter your record just the way you want it so i'm just going to look for a random demo name all right so i'm just going to go for um just going to go for Maybe I should use my name, all right? So I'm just going to go for Cletus Igbe. Sorry, Cletus. Go for a middle name. Go for last name. Okay, so I'm just going to go enter my phone number. So the country, I'm going to enter my country. So guys, if you're just enter your country, all right so i'm just going to enter my from nigeria just going to click on nigeria 
so the states which of the state do i want to enter this i'm just going to select a random state right right here okay let's go for federal capital territory let's see okay let's see uh, let's go for delta let's go for delta states so guys you can select your state all right so i'm just going to because of demo purpose i'm just going to enter delta delta okay i'll go for asaba all right okay so the reference name and the phone number so i'm just going to enter uh, julius okay mobile number I'm just going to enter any demo number right there okay all right so i'm just going to enter that so once you finish entering the um, client data what you will need to do right there okay i just going to click to to five at gmail.com all right so this is wrong i'm going to enter my number right here okay the address i'm just going to um asaba okay just for demo purpose so once you confirm that everything is has been correctly entered so you just need to click on the save button so the data has been successfully saved i'm going to click on ok all right so this is what we have here guys so we have uh, you can just do this okay okay so this is the record i just entered that's my name all right so if you like you can view or edit okay this is it all right so you can just view it like this or you can edit so let's go back to client so guys this is how would end, uh, this is how to enter client record so we are going to go back uh, let me quickly show you how to enter um, the code type the case type the call the case details the judge and all of that all right so let's go for the code type All right, so I've entered up to three code types. So I'm just going to enter one real quick. Okay, so let's go for municipal. All oh, let's go for districts. District parts. Okay, so I'm going to click on save record has been safe as you can see this is it all right so you can edit as you wish all right so i'm going to go back to court i've entered the court type i'm going to go to court okay so um so guys this is just a demo on um, data so once you get the um, the software or the, the source code right you know what to enter okay so I'm going to go district code I'm going to go for Asaba branch just for demo sake all right it's a demo data we'll click on save all right so this is it the food record okay so i'm going to go to i've entered the case type the sorry the court type the court so let's go for the case type all right so we're going to enter one right there so 
which of the case type are we going to enter case type case type case type let's see which of the case type are going to enter I'm trying to get one guys so let's see case type So I'm going to go for for criminal criminal case. Okay, criminal case. So I can save this. So guys, um, let's add one more. I see civil cases. Okay, so if you like, you can add the sub case type. So, for instance, we select criminal. We can just use maybe just for um, demo demo purpose. You can say theft, theft. So you click on save. All right, so we have the subcase, the case type as criminal case, the subcase type as theft. Okay, so let's go for uh, judge. Okay, so we've entered all of this. All right, so guys, if you want to enter one more, you can just click on this and uh, you can enter something like uh, circuit circuit okay just for demo purpose all right so all data that we've entered currently are for demo purpose so once you get it enter the correct um, details okay so all right so this is it second so you're going to go to we have tags all right so i'm not i'm not going to touch this right now because of time but every other thing is working just you know click on the tax name the rate and then you just click on enter okay so let's go back to let's quickly uh, let's see general settings let me just show you this real quick all right so you can set all of this you enter the company name the address the your country the pin code the state the your um, icon the city your logo and you click on save so do this for the date and time the mail setup and your invoice so once you've done this just make sure make sure you save all right so i'm going to go to to case let's see how we can enter case all right as you can see i've entered at least one case right there okay so we can view this case all right so this is what i've entered so let's see how we can you can print it okay or you can download it all right it's amazing so let's go back to case let me enter one real quick i'll show you how it works so we are going to add case all right so let's see which of the clients okay cletus all right uh, uh john john doug okay patricia Patricia Khan. So let's go for the case number. Case number four one. 
point four. The case, which of the case type are we going to select? It's a criminal. Okay, so we have theft as a subtype. So we are going to go for is it active? Is it on trial? So we select trial. So how is it? Is it minimum? Is it high? Is it low? So we're going to go for minimum. All right. So the act is going for 99, 1999. So whichever record that you feel that is right for this, so just enter it. All right. So the file number, let's say, is 41. The filing date is today. And uh, the registration number, I'm just going to edit this. All right. So we're going to go for this. OK, I so said Monday. So this we're going to enter six. So guys, all these data are just for demo purpose. OK, so we are going to say a server police command. The file number we're going to uh, four six eight just for demo purpose. OK, so we're going to go for this. The court number, let's say we use this and the court type, which of the court are we going to use? The district court, trial court, supreme court, let's go for this. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so a suburb branch, that is what we enter, that's what we are, we are going to select. So, which of the judges? The district, the juvenile. Let's go for juvenile. The judge name. Let's see. Jane. Jane Paul. Okay. So, the remarks, if you have any, you can enter. And the users, if you've already assigned the user for a task, then you can quickly select the user right here. All right. I didn't do that, so I won't select it. So, because of demo purpose, we'll just click on save. So, as you can see, record has been saved. So, guys, I've entered up to two records. So, this is the one I just entered. All right. That's my name right there. So I'm going to see view. OK, so this is how it looks like. So I'm just going to go back my case. So guys, if you like, you can transfer this case. As you can see, transfer, case transfer. All right, so fill this and you save it. Okay, I don't need that right now. So as you can see, the import type, important case type, and all of that. All right, so let's go for the team members. You can enter your team members. Okay, so guys, because of time, I'm just going to end the video right here. Okay. So if you get this, you can always, you know, enter every other um, data. Okay. As you can see, everything is working. There are no errors on the system. Everything is just fine. Okay. So I'm just going to log out for now. And uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed, to our channel please do well to click on the subscribe button and uh, click on the notification bell so that once you um, upload videos like this you can get one okay so like the video and uh, thank you very much goodbye